Hi guys, uh, look at this, absolutely fantastic. What a day. Woo! This is November, Scotland, absolutely roasting. Brilliant. Roxburgh Golf Club today, just hit a few balls, just day off, something to do. And uh, a little bit of practice, which is rare. First time of the year, to be honest with you. Probably not the right time to practice. But um, let's hit a few balls, weather's great. So I've got seven iron, and um, we're working a little bit on stack and tilt lately. We're working quite heavily on stack and tilt actually. Um, the idea behind that is I'm, I'm trying to splay my right foot out a fraction, so I can get my hands a little bit more inside. The centre of my shoulder stays over the golf ball, therefore when I take the club back, my knee goes forward, my left, my right leg straightens, the centre of gravity stays over, so I basically tilt myself to the left. Then when I come through impact, Hitting the ball with my centre of my shoulder still above the ball. Hit ball, then turf, then come through and basically tuck my bum under my back. So I come back in this move. So on the way back, I make that move with my spine. On the way through, I make that move. And the idea behind this is to keep my centre, my shoulder centre, over the golf ball. So I'm not, there's no lateral movement. I'm not swaying away from the ball and through the ball. I'm trying to stay centred so I can hit a pure strike every time, and it's brilliant. I'm loving it, I don't know too much about it. I must go on a course or go to somebody who's authorised instructor of a stack and tilt. But I'm loving the strike I'm getting. I just feel more over the top of the golf ball. So I start off, my weight is I'd say 55 to 60 percent on my left, right toes spread out. My weight stays on the left as I come back down towards the golf ball. More weight goes on the left in order to keep my centre of my shoulders over the golf ball. The strike's fantastic, really, it's good. Really, I get a real ball then turf strike, and it's consistent. It's almost every shot is struck well, which is that's rare for me. Especially a guy who doesn't play much golf. So here we go again. So I just all my thoughts are my hands come inside, everything comes inside because I'm swinging more around the circle. My thoughts are weight on the left, keep the weight on the left, more weight on the left on the way down. I do feel when I come through as well a little bit backwards, but my bum's tucked under, and that's to maintain the shoulders over the centre. Um, but I like it. It's great. I'll hit another one. This is just seven iron. We draw. Promotes a draw because I'm coming a bit more from the inside. It's great. Stack and tilt. I really need to know. The reason it's called stack and tilt is because you stack your shoulders over your hips. You take a club back and your shoulders stack over the hips instead of the shoulders moving away from the hips and the way back, so you stack your body. Um, I, I do, I, I have a good success with it. I played a couple of weeks ago at Cardrona with Dan, Daniel Wood Golf, um, head professional at the Hurstall Golf Club. Hit the ball pretty well. Hardly golfed all year, adopted stack and tilt. Dan never mentioned it once, so it mustn't, mustn't look that strange. Um, a bit cleaner on that one. Your weight shift, but no, it's good. Generally, generally good. I just need to learn more about it, but it's good. What a day for it! Okay, so as I look down here, you can see. I've placed this ball just left of the line and every shot I've hit my divot is well left of that so therefore I'm hitting ball then turf so my low point is well past the ball 
a good couple of inches or so past the golf ball towards the target. So if I pan out here so you can see the ball is on the other side of the line. And then if I come down you'll see my target. I'll just zoom up actually. You'll see my targets are up there. So I'm hitting ball then tough. And that's some stacking tilt. That's some keeping centred or your shoulder centre over the golf ball. Pretty much over that line. I just left that line. Um, for the whole swing. So I start with my weight just 55% on the left as the club goes back a little bit more percentage goes on the left foot as the club comes down my left knee goes outside my left heel so I'm applying a lot more weight on my left side I'm coming more from the inside hit a nice little draw hitting ball then turf stack and tilt it's really good I'm enjoying the, the experience of it it's um, how would you say it's very it's very interesting it's very new to me I've never swung that before, I've always transferred my weight, PGA manuals, golf manuals, they all tell you, you know, you must transfer your weight back to the right and through to the left, which is understandable, I can understand where that's come from, but certainly the stack and tilt concept of being able to um, to keep that weight centred certainly does promote, for myself anyway, a, a more pure ball strike, definitely ball then turf, more penetrating, and I get height as well, even though my weight's on my left, I still get the height because I'm getting myself, I get my bum tucked under my spine, um, through impact or just after impact um, which is applying the loft back onto the golf club so it's good so I'm, I'm going to keep persevering with it we'll um, I'll hit a few more balls see how we go on so guys I've just been at the Roxburgh Golf Club um, doing a bit of practice and um, working on stack and tilt giving that a try and it's very effective um, if you watch the video you'll see my results um, I'd like to thank the Roxburgh Golf Club um, for letting me use their practice facility today. Um, subscribe to my channel and if you watch this video you will understand a little bit more about stack and tilt. I don't know fully about it, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I have played around with it, read a lot about it. It'd be interesting to hear from some instructors. If you can um, leave some comments below that would be great. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. It's all a learning curve for me but I feel as though it is the way for me. I've had a lot of shoulder pain and back pain this season and wrist pain as well. And stack and tilt seems to have eased that pain. It allows me to hit golf shots. So, have a little look. Thanks again to the Roxburgh Golf Club. Subscribe to my channel, Steve Johnson PGA, and you'll see how I got on.